Hi, Ms. Battle? Yes. Hi, nice to meet you. Thank you. I'm Dr. Jack, nice to meet you. Great. Thank you for coming back today. Sure. Um, so what can I help you with today? Well, you know, there have been a couple things lately that um, have happened that made me really think that I've got to I've gotta attack this smoking thing again. Okay. I'm just not sure I can do it, but I want to try. Well, I, I'm glad that you came in and um, are going to give me an opportunity to talk with you about it. Mm -hmm. um, what kinds of things have you tried in the past? It sounds like you've tried before. To quit smoking? Mm -hmm. Well, I have tried um, cold turkey, mm -hmm. <laughs> and that didn't work. Mm -hmm. um, I tried that a couple times, and I was a, a miserable failure at that. Um, and I have tried um, the nicotine gum. Um, mm -hmm. It's terribly confusing trying to pick something. You know, you go to the store and you, you're just not sure what to pick. But I, I tried, um, and I, I didn't find it as helpful as I thought it would be. I guess I thought it would really make it a lot easier, and it, it didn't seem to, to do what I what I expected. <clears throat> so. so it sounds like you have had a couple of times in the past that you're feeling not so great about the fact that you started smoking again, but mm -hmm. there's something that's changed recently that's made you think about this differently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. And I know that you were seen a couple weeks ago for a flare-up of your bronchitis, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that um, you know you might be noticing that you're having more symptoms more frequently. Mm -hmm. from yeah, I've been uh, very, very short of breath um, mm -hmm. actually lately. Um, I swim a couple days a week over at Mac Pool in the morning, and. Uh, I have been finding that I um, I really can't quite finish the swim anymore, uh, mm -hmm. you know, so I guess it's kind of catching up with me. Mm -hmm. So yeah. exercising your life is something that you think is really valuable, and you're mm -hmm. probably frustrated that mm -hmm. you're not able to swim as much as you were before. Yeah, yeah, it really is. It's very concerning too because I I think it's like the first time that I that I realized that. Um, that maybe the smoking is, is making a difference. It's, mm -hmm. it's kind of hurting me, I guess. Mm -hmm. In the past, you didn't really feel like the smoking was interfering as much as it might be now. It's right. That's really starting to worry you. Mm -hmm. It is. It is. It's a great concern. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, have you uh, noticed that there's any other things in your life that uh, are also getting um, having interference because of your smoking? Well, yeah, actually, that was, I guess, the biggest reason, not only my own health, but my, my daughter called, and um, my grandson had a, an episode of asthma. Mm -hmm. um, he's never had that before, mm -hmm. um, and when they would, they, he had to go to the ER, and uh, the docs at the ER were very emphatic about being around smokers, and yeah, I never smoked with him in the room, ever, mm -hmm. but, um, you know, I think that, that, it's, that it has impacted him. And that really, uh, I guess that was the sort of the, the, the final thing that said, you know, do something about it. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, for you, you know, you've been smoking for a while and you were disappointed that maybe you weren't able to do as much as you could physically before. What mm -hmm. really has made you motivated perhaps this time is this concern that you could be having a negative impact on your grandson and mm -hmm. some of the other people around you mm -hmm. that might be, you know, getting some of the secondhand smoke. Right. That, right. Yeah. You would never intend to expose them to. Right? No, and I, you know, I, I, you know, he's over on the weekends all the time, and my mm -hmm. daughter said, you know, Mom, you have got to do something about this, you know. So uh, I guess, I guess I do need to, because <laughs> I, I, you know, I really do need to see him. It's very important to me. So I don't mm -hmm. know, but it's scary. It's, it's. I, I don't know if I can do it or not. Yeah, there's, there's, um, you know concern probably that because you tried in the past a couple different techniques and they weren't successful mm -hmm. that if you try this time you might not succeed again mm -hmm. and what does that mean for you and your family yeah 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 and it was just it's just too hard I mean it is a hard thing to try to do and, and I don't know if I can do it mm -hmm. yeah. um, what kinds of things do you think worked um, to help you get to the point of quitting in the past well, to get to the point of quitting, um, I guess the, the couple times that I tried, I, uh, my kids were bugging me, first of all. They were the ones who were initially, the, the first time I tried to quit, they were you know, harassing me day in and day out to quit. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so I just kind of surrendered to them and said, all right, I'll try. And uh, it was very difficult and it was very, mm -hmm. it was a bad experience for all of yeah. us actually. Um, and then the next time I tried, um, I just thought, you know, I should be able to do this. I should be in control of myself. I should, you know, I turned 50. I thought, you know, I should be able to do this. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't. I, I just completely, absolutely couldn't do it. I just was a complete failure on that. And then, mm -hmm. then I tried the gum, um, thinking that that might be a really, you know, really make a difference and really make it much easier and stuff. And, and it wasn't. It wasn't any easier. It was still miserable, and still I still wanted to smoke and everything. So, you know, I I, I don't know. It's just been very hard. Right. <clears throat> well, it sounds like you've tried both in the past because other people have really um, encouraged you to do that, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that that attempt didn't work for you, mm -hmm. and that um, another time you tried because you felt like. You know, you should be able to have the willpower to do mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. but that um, you're sort of dismayed and frustrated that that attempt wasn't successful either. Right. Yeah. And you're just feeling a little bit hopeless about whether mm -hmm. there's really something you can do that's going to be different this time mm -hmm. that will make you more successful. Yeah. Yeah. And I, but I just, I have to do it. I mean, I, I just feel that it's just so so darn important right now to, to get cigarettes out of my life. I have to do it. Mm -hmm. I just don't know how I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it sounds like, um, you know, you recognize that, um, let me just summarize for a minute some of the things that we've talked about so far, that um, you, you see the effects that your smoking is having on your ability to do the kinds of things you enjoy and think are important for your health, like mm -hmm. exercise, like your swimming. Mm -hmm. You see the impact of um, smoking, even if you're not doing it in front of your grandson or your other family members, that mm -hmm. there's still the possibility that there are some effects of the fact that you're smoking on them, mm -hmm. which you're just, you know, absolutely feeling horrible about because you love your grandson and family so much. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, while you've had some previous attempts that were unsuccessful, you really think that now the combination of all these things together and, um, you know, the fact that you see the importance of living differently that uh, you're ready to try again but you're not really sure how you're going to do it you, you think it's important to you but you're not really sure how you're going to uh, make it happen right yeah, absolutely i guess that's that's the real frustration of the whole thing I, I i know i need to do it and i just don't know how i just don't know if i can okay <clears throat> Well, um, why don't we see if we can, um, you know, think about a couple different things that might uh, help you with that. We have a set of values here, and you've already mentioned several things that are really important to you. Mm -hmm. um, you know, taking care of your family mm -hmm. and uh, being healthy. But do you see any other uh, values that are important to you here? Well, I guess, you know, the... the Parent and spouse. I mean, that, mm -hmm. that's you know, a grandparent would be mm -hmm. even more important than that okay. one. Um, the the other thing that I that I sort of talked about too was was being in control of myself enough to be able to do this. Mm -hmm. um, it just seems like I should be able to do this. I should mm -hmm. be able to make this change and have the control. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. That I guess is something that you know really. Maybe discipline on top of that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. On top of things, I don't know. But it just seems like I, I should, at this juncture, I should be able to do it with willpower, and I can't. Mm -hmm. Just can't. Okay. Well, it sounds like you have heard a couple things about some of the medications or uh, supplements for nicotine that um, are available, mm -hmm. and um, maybe you can tell me a little bit about what you understand about those because they can be useful in helping um, people that are having a hard time with some of the symptoms of quitting smoking? Well, I, uh, the nicotine replacement thing, I, I um, you know, I went over to Meyer and I was looking at all the different things and, you know, they have a bunch of different products. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, they must work for somebody uh, mm -hmm. or, or, you know, they wouldn't be selling them. Mm -hmm. um, so, I, I, when I chose the gum, Although I'm not really a gum chewer, um, I thought, well, maybe that would really assist me in this whole process. And, you know, it may have been a little bit 
of help. Um, but in my mind, I thought, boy, once I start using something, once I start, mm -hmm. you know, actively doing this, it's mm -hmm. going to make it easy. And uh, mm -hmm. I, I still felt pretty crummy. I mean, mm -hmm. real crummy. Okay. And uh, on top of that, I really, um, I'm really crabby to everybody. I'm mm -hmm. crabby to my family. I'm crabby at work. I'm crabby everywhere mm -hmm. I go. It's just, mm -hmm. it's really. Um, that in itself is, is probably the, the worst part of it. Mm -hmm. I feel awful and I'm crabby. Mm -hmm. So I tried that and it didn't work, or it didn't okay. seem to work. Okay. Um, I guess in the back of my mind I'm wondering if there's um, maybe something else I should try. Mm -hmm. um, maybe, I don't know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> something. So it's, it's helpful to hear the kinds of symptoms that you were experiencing when you were struggling with your mm -hmm. um, with your uh, quitting in the past. Mm -hmm. So would you mind if I offered you some information about some alternatives that are um, in addition to the, the nicotine replacement gum? Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. Okay. So um, the gum um, is one form, and then there's also a patch, which uh, mm -hmm. serves a similar function. So if you don't like the sensation of chewing gum, mm -hmm. that's another alternative. But both of those work in the kind of way where they will um, reduce some of the, the cravings for the cigarette themselves. Mm -hmm. um, but we have another class of medicine that is a pill that people can take while they're um, quitting mm -hmm. that helps more with some of that crabbiness, Mm -hmm. um, some of the desire to smoke as well, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we found that that those two things in combination, either you know the patch of the gum and this mm -hmm. pill medication, one of them is called Zyban, mm -hmm. um, that together they can be really effective in helping with that um, difficult period of all, all of the symptoms that you're describing, mm -hmm. the crabbiness, mm -hmm. the difficulty concentrating sometimes, mm -hmm. the and then also the you know sort of actual addiction withdrawal of the nicotine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah. And so since you haven't tried that in the past, uh, it's it's something you might want to consider mm -hmm. as another possibility um, sure. for you to to try um, to you know help with that. Mm -hmm. That makes a lot of sense. I, it seems to me that you know um, my sheer willpower or desire mm -hmm. has not been enough. So I sort of need to gather up anything that I possibly can that might mm -hmm. might help me with this whole process. I, I, you know, I'm certainly willing to try some stuff like that. Yeah. So it sounds like you recognize that there would be benefit in um, trying a different you know approach than you'd had before. Mm -hmm. But I think it's important for you to also give yourself credit that you have gotten to this point where you've even you know tried in the past and quit for short periods of time. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, while you might be focusing on the fact that you ended up smoking again, I think that it's important to give yourself credit for the fact that you um, you know were able to even make as many steps as you did. Mm -hmm. I guess I've never thought of that. I just looked at it and I was just pitiful. <laughs> totally pitiful. Went right back to smoking and, uh, you know, was, was unable to do it. So. Yeah. Many people that are smokers have multiple attempts before they quit. Mm -hmm. It's really just how um, you, you look at them and try and understanding them as steps towards a more successful quit. So I think that you need to make sure you don't underestimate how much work you've already done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so um, it sounds like uh, you have interest in trying the Zyban today or, you know, in the future and um, perhaps with the nicotine patch or the gum. Mm -hmm. um, would you uh, be ready to come up with a time frame in which you would like me to prescribe those for you or would be interested in trying it? Yeah, I, uh, I think that um, I, I would be interested in trying it. Um, I, I'm not sure when. I'm a, I'm a bit concerned about about how much I'm going to miss smoking. <laughs> you know, <laughs> although I, you know, on the other hand, I, I do need to see my grandson, and he's over on the weekends. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, I guess I'm very I'm, I'm reluctant to jump in 100%, and yet mm -hmm. I know I need to. Mm -hmm. So I have to I have to get myself to that to that absolute spot. Mm -hmm. I need to do that painful stuff again to myself. <laughs> yeah. But it, you know, I guess I, I guess I'm I'm thinking maybe some maybe the medicine might help at some point. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what would it take for you to be ready to to say you you're gonna go for it? 
you know, um, I always hear about the medicine and such, and um, maybe it would be a, a good idea to um, to maybe read some stuff about it. Um, maybe um, see what the success rate might be, and, and maybe have a little bit more information before I, I do. You mentioned the Zyban, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm I'm thinking that that might be you know, a good way to to, to go. Um, but I also, you know, you go on the computer and stuff, and, and it's just so overwhelming that mm-hmm. I'm thinking maybe just a little bit more precise information about the medicine might, might help. Absolutely. I think that, that um, we're more than happy to provide you with uh, some reading material today mm-hmm. that um, mm-hmm. you can look through and mm-hmm. um, maybe talk about with uh, other members of your family mm-hmm. and um, maybe other friends of yours that may have quit smoking and if they've tried it to okay. hear from them. But mm-hmm. um, I think that... Uh, it would be, you know, a good idea for you to seriously consider it, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. since you are, are open to the idea of mm-hmm. trying something new right. this time. Okay. Um, and maybe we can talk just for a couple more minutes about other things that would be useful for you to sort of support you in this decision to mm-hmm. um, to quit smoking this time. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you've talked about a couple different things that have. Um, you know, sort of elicited your desire to quit in the past, which is, you know, your daughter's interest in your health mm-hmm. and, you know, wanting to protect your son and, mm-hmm. you know, the fact that you uh, really enjoy exercising mm-hmm. is like a good way to spend your time or energy. And, um, you know, other patients also find that, you know, going to their spouses and talking with them about maybe troubleshooting some of the crabbiness that yeah. would be um, a reason to go back to smoking if it leads mm-hmm. to conflict in the in your relationship sure. would sure. be, um, you know, some things to consider. Any of those sound like they might be helpful to sort of support you in that decision in addition to the medicine? Yeah, I think, you know, my husband is on board. I mean, he's glad that I'm, I'm going to try again, um, particularly with, with my grandson. Um, and sadly, he's probably taken the brunt of some of the crabbiness that I've had. Um, and so I, I guess I, I could sit down and talk with him a little bit more and, and see whether or not, um, you know, we could figure out a, sort of a, <laughs> a way to, you know, maybe I need to go for a walk every time I feel awful or instead of, you know, bitching at him and being crabby and stuff. So, exactly. I don't know, I, I, I guess I commend him for even, you know, encouraging me to come because he, uh, I, I think he takes the brunt of some of that stuff. So, it, that might be a really good idea to sit down and talk with him about what he's going to have to put up with for a while. You know, and, and whether that stuff will ever go away. I hope. I hope it goes away. You know, the crappy stuff. Um, that, that, that's probably a good idea to, to sit down and talk with him. Wonderful. So do you mind if I summarize again um, some of the stuff we've just discussed? Okay. Um, please feel free to, you know, add anything at the end, or if I've, you know, mistaken mm-hmm. anything, you can correct it. Mm-hmm. Um, but while you, you know, you came in today because you, you really notice that um, the smoking is getting in the way of things that are important to you in your life, your exercise, your time with your family, particularly your grandson. Mm-hmm. And so you're feeling really um, like this is an important thing to you to quit. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. you're really struggling with what you need to do. To, you're really struggling with what you need to do to get it done and mm-hmm. you know how to make it happen in your life. And particularly because you've tried a couple things in the past that haven't been successful. You're, mm-hmm. You know, sort of seeing that as like cumulative failures rather than the fact that you're actually really committed to this because you keep coming back to trying mm-hmm. and that you realize it's important. And so um, you're, you know, sort of a little more hopeful today that I've shared with you the possibility of using a medication in addition to something like the gum mm-hmm. that would help with some of those crabby, you know, craving um, experiences that you've had in the past and mm-hmm. that maybe in conjunction with that and, um, troubleshooting with your husband and, Mm -hmm. you know, Mm -hmm. trying to make sure you get support from everybody either so that, you know, they're all on board with you Mm -hmm. succeeding Mm -hmm. and that um, all of that together, you know, while you want to have a little more information, you feel like you're you're pretty close to uh, being ready to give this a 